Assalamu alaikum guys I hope you all are fine uh, I am Shagufta Shafi in the last classes we talked about Buddhist chapter using HTML5 so in the last class we learned about how to make the slider now today we are going to learn how to divide your page how to divide your section in different different columns and rows so see today we are going to learn the grid system in bootstrap thing so uh, you can see uh, in this picture i designed this in the responsive form so i can stretch it out and i just want to show you the different views of my website in a bootstrap thing so i switch mode on the responsive design so if you have a cell phone or a tablet so this website show you will like that if i scroll it now move the navigation bar automatically responds if i change the size of my device like uh, iphone it's look like that uh, if i use the ipad the view automatically change and auto adjust it mean that this is using the fact of boot stepping so in this website we are going to learn the boot stepping okay now first uh, first thing is that how can i take the logos from different sides and i recolor it using the other photoshop and uh, then i paste it here okay one more thing if i resize my window so my all work auto adjust like that if i resize it then i stretch it out my work automatically auto adjust like uh, i show you again see my all features my planning analysis analyzing development all headings auto adjust my data so it means that it's automatically responds with the certain devices when i open on the different types of devices okay now move on how can i use this and how can i uh, write it there so now let's move on So now I move on the VS Code, or so I am here on the VS Code. So now I am going to divide my certain row into the four columns. So same like that, I am going on the boot step thing, boot step five, and search there the grading system. So. layout now you can see the column and the grid so move on the column and select any column did you required so i write this copy it and come on the vs and paste here so after that i want to divide into a three column so i have column 3 change it now again copy this line and paste it here in the bottom like that and now i'm divide all three all column in a three each oh sorry i divide i think select for the four with it's quite better fine If I want to take more one, so I write here three. It depends on you what type of length you require. So I write here a three by three, and then again I take an other one because I decided to make a four column in one single row. 
like that so if i save all and run it so it look like that the four column move on after the row i write here the some tags h1 i take the heading h1 now close the tag same like that and write here the features or if you want to write the key features there you can key features okay move on i just write here the para bottom like that i don't have a tag right uh, right now so i go to the lipsim tag generator website and then generate the tags and copy move on now copy it come back my vs code and paste there like that okay move on so in the top bottom in the top of the my website i put there the heading key features like that okay i tag the line is center so i open your styles tag the line and simple centers like that now i take font family fill in gotham now save it and again preview okay now move on after that i want to add it the four column taxes as well as the picture so i also take some logos or the icon if depend on you what you want to design so i take the four different logos on the same theme which i already run in my website so move on come on the column number first and then remove it the all tags move on img image source like logo one dot jpx okay now i create the class features why i write here the feature cause i am working on the features tab that's why i write here the features again i use the image flute image flute means that your picture automatically responds image flute same like that and again space i added an other okay now i uh, i show you at that point but my image is not come in the center so i use the max auto d block class it's auto generate in the 2000 uh, sorry it's auto generate html uh, in bootstrap thing 5 so that's why so i use this rounded mx dash auto is auto means that your picture automatically adjusts in the center area of your block like that so now i save all again and recheck it so now your tag uh, your image is auto center move on now i just take here some tags 
so I put here the para again I take some text from the left side so now copy it and then paste here so uh, before the text I put the heading here so h1 so why I write here the features I have a CSS class there I decided the logo or the icon width and height so I uh, use the feature classes with the date px and the height 90 px according my row width and height so it's auto adjusted put the heading like uh, planning or the controlling I write here the controlling like that file save all and reload it so now see okay controlling uh, text is quite high so I just decided some text uh, okay uh, one uh, one backward is that like if I resize my page but the con controlling as well as the icon icon is on the same position but the controlling is beyond and overlapping on the another text so what I do so I'm going to add VW what is the VW VW is the view point that it's auto adjust your tags as well as your images according the size so now I'm going to add the text align so uh, I'm going to add the styling CSS text align and center now move on I put the font size of my controlling font size is still v w viewpoint okay move on i also tag the font family is the first okay move on now i save my data and reload it now you can see my heading is auto address but the one more thing my text is not justify so again I come in the paragraph and then again put here the styles same like that uh, text align justify auto adjust justify move on after that the font size if you want to increase it's totally up to you I just write here a font size is 1.5 view point after that I select the phone family same following okay move on I again save all my data and reload it same like that now if I decrease the size my heading auto adjust the size now you can see it's auto adjust it's not overlapping uh, uh, overlapping on the next tab so move on after that again I just copy the data which I wrote uh, like that okay now I can select it from the image and on the paragraph so it's quite easy if you design the one column all column automatically copy or the paste it now in the second i just remove the by default tags and then paste here so now you can see my second heading is auto adjust and automatically design now you can see okay if you want to change the logo so what i do i change only the one then i rechange it to two same like that so now you can see it's quite easy 
Uh, and one more thing, my tags, my picture, they are not overlapping with each other. Author resizes using what type of device you can move on again. I just copy the line, delete, control V dot past, and third one, move on again. Select all this, same like that, delete, down, and control V. So change the logo, logo, if you want to change, I just write here the four. Now you can learn how to easy design web development in a bootstrap thing. So it's quite easy. Now you can see automatically all the tags, all the data are auto adjust. No, now we're overlapping in which device you can open it. So now guys, I hope you understand today what we are learned, we are learned the grading system. And if you like my tutorial, so don't forget to like and subscribe my video and share my channel as well with the other. So everyone take advantage from my classes. I hope you all are fine. Take care of yourself now. Allah Hafiz.